Microsoft Loop, it has been out for six months now, and I wanted to take a look at the newer features that have been released, but also whether it has any type of competition between Notion and Microsoft Loop since its initial release. We're going to overview what's new with Microsoft Loop and give you an idea of my opinions on that right now and in the future. So yeah, Microsoft Loop been out for some time now, but it has naturally sort of not got the momentum it needs to be like talked about every single day. It's not being brought up in conversation since it's probably initial release of the first week where people did tout it as a Notion competitor and a Notion killer. But the application itself does have some great abilities. I wanna start by talking about five new things that have come to Microsoft Loop that you will find linked below if you did want to just skip to an article format of this video. So the first of those is save drafts. This is a way for you to add a comment, but come back to it later so that you can send it and approve it instead of doing it now, there and then, which is perfect for bringing together feedback before actually sending it to someone inside of Microsoft Loop Pages. Next up is a new Loop component that now comes with Microsoft Teams. It means you can take meeting notes and collaborate in real time. And inside the meeting note, it means you can bring that over to Microsoft Teams, continue collaborating on it and use it within Loop to bring all that together. This is a great new addition and something in terms of integration that's advancing quite fast with Microsoft Loop is constantly evolving which I'll talk about in a bit. Microsoft Loop is now on the Windows Store, which I was actually expecting it to be there initially, but it's now on the Microsoft Store, which means you can download it from their App Store. It previously was a download separately, but now it's on the store formally. Microsoft have also introduced um, stock cover images over 10,000 different options now. This is very much like Notion's unsplash cover images that allow you to add a little bit more color to the top of your page. And finally, a better integration between Microsoft Planet and Microsoft Loop. This was fantastically co covered by Daryl Webster on Modern Work Mentor. You can find how it works and a little bit more how you can bring those two applications much closer, Microsoft Planner being the project management software and Microsoft Loop naturally being the one we're talking about in this video. So there were five of the biggest changes that Microsoft Loop has introduced. And to be honest, they're not massive. Some of those integrations that they did with Microsoft Teams and Microsoft Planner are probably the most notable. And it's definitely quite a obvious element that Microsoft Loop isn't developing even as fast as apps like Notion are right now. Now, Microsoft Loop is sort of relying on its entire marketing and entire distribution being on other applications. It's sort of like the glue between other Microsoft 365 products. The likes of Teams, OneNote, and many more are starting to bring out integrations with Microsoft Loop that are more mainstream, which means those who are using those products will get introduced to it pretty instantly. So I can imagine if they did some sort of metric of how many users Microsoft Loop has, it would be pretty considerably high. Very similar, I guess, to the likes of when Google Plus first initially posted how many users that they had after forcing most of those users to switch over to it when creating a Google account. So as you can imagine, a lot is relied on that distribution and connection with the existing ecosystem in the Microsoft 365 network. But how does that battle with the likes of Notion in the market? Notion has got a good amount of credibility. It's got a good amount of companies and teams using it, as well as individual users across the world. And it really doesn't just span individuals, it spans teams, and it really goes beyond a lot of the abilities that um, initially were set up. I remember when Notion was out in 2013, and a lot of people were saying, this is only for team users, but it's naturally where the community came in and stepped in and made it for individuals, which is where the growth and success of Notion has been. This is something that Microsoft Loop does not have, and that's a real struggle for them when it comes to being able to distribute organically. They're much more reliant on the distribution of the Microsoft 365 ecosystem than they are to what they can do with the consumer market. So where do I think Microsoft Loop is heading? Well, in terms of the integrations, if this continues, I do think it will have some success. I think actually with the abilities that they could connect up in the whole ecosystem, the live components could be the saving grace of Microsoft Loop in the future. If you remove Loop components, I think it's a dud. But if you keep live components running and continue to integrate them 
for mainstream customers, Microsoft Loop has a huge opportunity in the future. If you're interested in learning more about Microsoft Loop in general, we've got a page on Tool Finder which you can dive a bit deeper in. We also have a beginner's guide to it to go a little bit deeper into the basics of Microsoft Loop. And if you're looking to check out some other videos, we do have some here on Keep Productive. But that was my take on some of the newer features of Microsoft Loop and where it's heading in terms of Notion and in its future of integrations. Thank you so much, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do check out some of the other videos that will be popping up after this and do subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it. Thank you very much, folks, and I'll see you all very, very soon. Cheerio.